Hi, my name is Carla with Karma on Deck. I'm a psychic here at Karma Connection, and I teach tarot here. Also some other classes on spell casting and energy work. I'm a Reiki healer. Um, I've been a psychic my whole life, but um, I've been reading for, for plenty of years now. 20 years, used to work for Miss Cleo back in the day. But what we're gonna do is have a conversation to you, um, with you, about how to choose a tarot deck. Because as I teach it, I tell people um, some of the best things they can do when choosing a tarot deck is to um, select images that resonate with you. And the reason why I say this is when we look at, for example, something like this, we have the tarot for dummies right here. And that always uses the Rider weight deck, which is what most people consider the traditional deck to learn on. However, I see some obstacles that come up with that. One of which being is the symbols that um, are associated with the original deck um, reflect the culture of the day. So when we look at images that um, are on that deck, we see um, a person in a position of leadership, which may or may not be a king, an emperor, or a wise person would have like robes and a cane. So. Nowadays, we don't really look at people um, in authority with those same kind of images. So what I would recommend is you pick a deck, keeping in mind that you're looking for tarot. You will find um, decks that are tarot, like the Telus deck here, or you will find what we call oracle cards. Oracle cards are more like messages um, and individual purpose that may have something to do with what the author or artist is trying to purvey, uh, convey, kind of like uh, oracle cards or angels, things like that. So my recommendation, first of all, is for you to find a deck that absolutely is a tarot deck, which would have 78 cards. Um, secondly, there are images of all types. I got a couple examples here. So here's a ghosts and spirits one, if you're interested in ghosts and spirits and that resonates with you. Native American. We have Egyptian. Um, there's even also some quirky stuff. I know we had like the deviant, the deviant moon. That's right here. So it can go anything from angels, see here, dreams of Gaia. So the reason why that I recommend that you pick something with um, that crystals, here's another one, crystals. So the reason why I tell you to choose something that um, has images that you resonate with is because the spirit speaks and images and symbols. So a lot of symbols are still going to be fairly consistent across every deck. You're going to find that um, a king is a king, a queen is a queen, the are going to have the empress, the lover's card, and all of those things that you're used to seeing. However, the images you will automatically connect with. If you have, a, for example, a Native American background, right? or an Egyptian background, you're going to automatically resonate with the idea of those philosophies, imagery, and and symbols. Um, so as you're memorizing the deck, you will find that it comes much, much easier to you. So that's my first, my first little tip for you. Secondly, when you get your deck, you're going to have a booklet that comes with every single one of them. It's a little pamphlet and they're going to try to convey to you the purpose of the author and the artist and bring those two together. So as you get your deck, the first thing you're going to do is take your major arcana out and take a look at those. Because for every major, there is a minor mirroring it in that deck. So after 21 cards of your majors, you're going to find an almost mirror minor of it. So you'll already have memorized 22 cards or 21. And then you add the other mirrors to it. So you've automatically got a grip on good 44 with just memorizing 21. So that would be your first start, is pick out a deck that you resonate with, memorize the majors first, and then find a very simple spread and um, utilize that first just to get an idea of how to lay the cards out. So what we're going to do is um, once you've done that, come back to me and we will go over the deck and do a little lesson on how you can begin to do the spreads and some tips on how to... Um, practice with listening to spirit and what they tell you. So if you would like to get a lesson or a reading, please feel free to reach out. Go ahead and hit the website or give us a call here at Karma Connection. Thank you.